apartment unit? Well, well, you keep my car, my car. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be talking about the rapper Blueface, Bleed Em Blueface, the man that can't rap on the beat. When he is on that track, the track be running away from his voice. This guy was recorded in the last 48 hours doing Home Invasion. Now, <laughs> I'm not laughing that he decided to break into somebody else's house, attack them and destroy their property. I'm laughing because of why he did it. It's the most insane level of, hey, let's escalate to violence without even thinking, let's not come to a, a resolution. Let's not sit down and say, hey, I'm doing this. You have a problem with what I'm doing. Maybe we can understand and see eye to eye as human beings. It's like, nah, nigga, you have a problem with what I'm doing. Oh, I'm about to get on that violence tip, baby. It's gonna be beautiful. His neighbor filed a noise complaint. His neighbor was getting tired, I'm assuming, of him and the girl that was uh, recording this, making a whole bunch of noise. I don't know if it was next door to them or they were above them. I'm assuming their apartment was above them. And if you guys have ever lived below somebody, if they making a whole bunch of noise, you gonna hear it. I used to have some uh, lesbian neighbors, 3 a.m., all you start hearing is, I hate you. And then it starts sounding like Mortal Kombat in the apartment over. They was really brawling in there. And and uh, I don't know whatever happened to them, but yeah, they was brawling in that apartment. So normally in situations like that, you can go down to the rental office and file a complaint with them, but that means we gotta wait a couple days. That means when I report it, it's not gonna get resolved right away. So I guess he he took it up with them about the noise complaint. He knocked on the door. He did something of that nature and he went and minded his own business. They decide to escalate this. They decide to up the level of violence, if you will. Go down to the thing. They're knock on the door. The white man is talking to him. Um, they're like, yo, what apartment this is? And uh, I can't show all of this, obviously, because this is violence on YouTube. And I, I would like my YouTube channel a lot, okay? I don't want to lose it. So at that point, they kick the door in to his apartment and start beating the shit out of him. And his girlfriend is there. She's screaming. The woman recording this is like, you can just hear her being aroused by the violence. Get him, get him, get him. It was like she was sick and two dogs. She had two pit bulls ripping up a little Pomeranian. That's how she was getting off one time telling these niggas to attack. Cause it, the, and the thing that's upsetting, right? When I start to sit here and think about it is, you going to jail. Old girl that recorded it may get bind up. She she may get binded up, all right? But realistically, she might be able to sneak her way out of that. You may just be like, hey, I was just recording it. But them two niggas is more than definitely going to get locked up in the next two weeks. And I don't know, I say this from time to time when we talk about rappers here on this channel, I don't know if niggas are in love with the pen, they in love with that jailhouse ass. That pussy gotta be fucking crucial the way niggas be getting locked up or they maybe just don't like money i'm assuming they don't like money because all the bullshit they're buying but they must really not gonna like money because this guy got his ass beat and his and this wasn't like hey you know you shove me and then yo what you gonna do about i shove you you shove me and then that's it no 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 they entered his home and they beat his ass all right this is levels of little reese beating that woman in her apartment this is the levels of ass whipping we're talking about here his wife is screaming they said she was pregnant in the video she She's screaming. Can you imagine? She ain't even gonna look at her her boyfriend, her fiance like a man no more. Not only did two big, just swolled up Doberman looking niggas just kicked in the apartment door. They beat your ass in the apartment with each punch that connected with that man. I know his wife's vaginal box got drier and drier. And now you sitting there on the bed later after they done completely violated you as a man. They like really, you damn near should have pulled the pants down and got a couple strokes. That's how bad they beat his ass. I know his wife probably sitting there looking at him like, damn, this shit is crazy. When times get tough, my man can't protect the family. He can't protect the home. And honestly, this is why I always advocate for people to invest in their own personal security because if it was up to me, the news story would read two rappers laid down after doing home invasion. Cause that shit is what probably should have happened. They should have got laid the fuck down. And instead of a woman recording this, saying, yes, get him, get him, get him. Ooh, sound like she getting just aroused. Ooh, just, just the, the, the moisture is just, ooh, I can, I can smell it. 
Instead of that, she should have been screaming and crying because, oh my God, you shot him, you laid That's what more than likely should have happened, in my honest opinion here, because there's just no way that you're gonna beat my ass in, in my house over something that could have just been resolved peacefully, over something that's like, I don't even think it's asking a lot, right? I've heard some stories where it's like, yo, you got the neighbors where if you just open your refrigerator, they tripping, you making too much noise. Obviously, that's not the case, okay? If you're screaming, Man, you're acting a whole you're acting a damn fool you're doing a whole bunch of yelling they could have just reported you to the head office and let them deal with it but they didn't do that they tried to be diplomatic about it i don't understand how we can be diplomatic and that turns into an ass whipping i don't understand that I, am, am i being unreasonable here how does somebody being diplomatic you just want to whip their ass you don't want to one plus one equal two you want to go to ten and then I never understand when it comes to when you have something to lose. I'm all for if you have something to lose, valuing what you have to lose over steeping down to somebody's level. Well, I understand on yesterday's video, I was talking about beating a customer's ass. I get that. I completely get that. That's when you ain't got shit to lose. But if you obviously have something to lose, which this guy, we're talking paper, potential revenue, right? Is being, is no, it ain't even gonna be potentially, you're going to lose revenue off of this. Is it worth it over something as minuscule as this? And again, there's levels to this. If we're talking, hey, you find a guy key in your car. Oh, he deserved that ass whooping. He deserved more than that. But you know, <laughs> he gonna deserve, he, 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 he worked for that ass whooping and you gotta give it to him. But we're talking about, hey man, you're doing something that's slightly obnoxious. Can you cut down on that? If I say, hey, while I may be doing that obnoxious thing, I think you pussy, so I'm gonna beat your ass. It, it's like, I can, you know what I saw when I watched this video? I just saw charges getting racked up, okay? I see breaking and entering. I see home invasion. I see assault. We're talking about melanated individuals that's assault with a deadly weapon baby you guys know what happened when i weaponized my melanin that's vibranium bitch i'm a, i'm literally a wmd <laughs> that's a weapon of mass destruction little mama you need to watch out so when i'm seeing all of that play out and i feel like yo dude it's it's like on top of that you beat a man in front of his woman when she's pregnant it's like he can't get a pass because he got a child on the way <laughs> like this is, it's like normally when there's children involved in any capacity even if they're unborn children i feel like somebody should always get a pass all right unless we talking like some real diabolical shit like you slap my mama you ain't never getting a pass all right but we when we start talking like man you're gonna beat a man in front of his wife and unborn child if anything all you doing i would i would really seriously argue that the ass whooping after you do it in front of his woman is the least of his worries and then y'all jump him and then from what it looks like blue face look like a big dude like not like not like i don't want to make it seem like he terry cruz big but i mean he's a tall lanky guy bro like he got reach from what it looked like it looked like he was 10 feet away from that brother in the kitchen still piecing him up one two one two one two he's screaming his wife screaming he he's screaming get out my apartment and like it, it sounded like them hands had some weight on them because with each screen it sounded like there was a little whimper behind it bro dude it, it's really sad when i see things like this play out and i'm not advocating that if you're going to commit crimes you shouldn't record them but i really would like to know what is going through somebody mind when you record them doing the most heinous act this ain't a fight on the street that you happen to record this isn't gucci Mane, the famous video of him in the mall squaring up with the fan that disrespected him this is you breaking and entering going into somebody's home beating the shit out of them and then leaving and acting like you get cool points and then you posted it i'd even be willing to understand if you dropped the phone and they posted it as a means of saying hey this is what happened to us no no you posted it i'm what somebody make it make sense to me man let's say i completely lose my mind and a woman has so much power over me that she can direct me like a fucking missile and at that point she's like yo go over there and piece that nigga up then she records it at what point do you sit back you're laying in bed you're sitting on the couch maybe the Percocets have to wear off. Maybe the weed has to wear off. Your eyes squints up and you say, hey baby, why did you record and post that on social media? I'm about to get binded up. All that good, delicious, wet, creamy. It looked like a milk bottle when you go up in it, pussy. I'm not gonna be able to experience that. Now I gotta go in jail and experience mucus butt because I'm gonna be sitting in there. Now I'm out of 50, 60,000 dollars. If anything, if I know Blueface was gonna be breaking in doors like that, hey Blueface, kick the door into my house and beat my ass because I need 60 grand bro because that shit i'm telling you i if i was the brother that got his ass whipped like that i'm claiming mental proms i'm claiming physical proms any place you hit me they done broke something i can't see i wear glasses now oh i'm really gonna need glasses 
my orbital frame has been aching i have headaches migraines he hit me so hard i had a damn near out of body experience i'm saying everything under the sun that's if blueface has any money because you know rappers and the way they flex we can't even believe everything we see on social media nowadays and the saddest part about this is that brothers do not have foresight that you are so emotional that you are willing to get to this level of violence without logically approaching the situation and having a discussion with this man like two men about it you just went straight to fist all because a woman decided to point you in the direction it's like jesus christ you know what you know what this reminds me of completely left it reminds me of the fastball special where colossus used to pick up wolverine and throw him that's that's what this is except the woman ain't colossus i gotta see what she look like maybe she built like colossus i don't know but that's all i'm gonna say here i'm gonna wrap it up hey blue face man tell me how the mucus butt is from jail um you guys know where to find me as always twitter.com forward slash rmp kimpachi youtube.com for slash rmp kimpachi if you're here that's a good thing you should go ahead and hit the like button and you should sub if you're new and if you want to check out that patreon with over 110 hours of additional content you can do that for as low as five dollars but with that being said i'm gonna catch you guys on the next one everybody have a great day and i will talk to you guys soon